Hello everyone! Kumusta po kayo? Sana po ay nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pag-imbita for me to speak before you today on your Kabataan Iwas Droga Festival. Thank you, Edward of Batang Star Philippines for the invitation. I was asked to talk about the salient features of Republic Act 9165 or the Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002 as it applies to the youth. I have once worked in the government and I have been part of the Anti-Drug Abuse Council. That is why I am quite familiar with the drug problem in our community. All the provisions of the law are important, but we cannot squeeze them all into a 15-minute talk. Pero alam niyo po ba na at the very heart of this law, Republic Act 9165, ay ang mga kabataan? Yes, if you read the Declaration of Policy, it says, it is the policy of the state to safeguard the integrity of its territory and the well-being of its citizenry, particularly the youth, from the harmful effects of dangerous drugs on their physical and mental well-being, and to defend the same against acts or omissions detrimental to their development and preservation. In view of the foregoing, the state needs to enhance further efficacy of the law against dangerous drugs, it being one of today's more serious social ills. Kasi po, we all know na kayo ang mga kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. The future belongs to you and whatever we do now, especially in confronting the menace of drugs in our society, will certainly affect your future. That is why, di na po tayo dapat magtaka kung bakit part of the efforts towards drug prevention ay nakatuon sa bawat pamilya dahil una sa lahat, kayo po ay bahagi ng pamilya. In section 41 of RA 9165, it says, The family being the basic unit of the Filipino society shall be primarily responsible for the education and awareness of the members of the family on the ill effects of dangerous drugs in close monitoring of family members who may be susceptible to drug abuse. And no less than our constitution provides that the state recognizes the vital role of the youth in nation building and shall promote and protect their physical, moral, spiritual, intellectual, and social well-being. It shall inculcate in the youth patriotism and nationalism and encourage their involvement in public and civic affairs. But to put more emphasis on your role as young members of our society, hindi po nakalimutan ng ating mga mambabatas ang napakahalagang papel na inyong gagampanan sa pag ba sa ating problema sa illegal na droga. Section 42 of RA 9165 provides all elementary, secondary, and tertiary schools, student councils, and campus organizations shall include in their activities a program for the prevention of and deterrence in the use of dangerous drugs and referral for treatment and rehabilitation of students for drug dependence. Pero yung efforts po natin ay hindi lang dapat limited sa loob ng school campuses. Dapat inclusive po ito to include even out of school youth. We all know na mas kilala po ang RA 9165 dahil sa mga kaparosahan o penalties na itinatakda nito para sa mga illegal drugs manufacturers, traders, dealers, pushers, users, at maging mga possessors ng illegal drugs. But the approach is more than just putting the criminals to jails and prosecuting them. The law also provides for treatment and rehabilitation of drug dependents. But of course, hihintayin pa ba natin na malulung mo na sa illegal na droga yung isang tao? Yung kaklase mo, yung pinsan mo, kamag-anak mo, kapitbahay mo, kapatid mo, bago tayo umaksyon. I believe that it is better to be proactive than be reactive. At dito ko po nakikita ang napakalaking papel ng mga kabataan sa kasalukuyang panahon. In fact, the law is quite specific on what you can do to help in the government's fight against illegal drugs. Program for prevention and deterrence and referral for treatment and rehabilitation. The Dangerous Drugs Board has identified the five pillars of action. Drug supply reduction, drug demand reduction, 
civic awareness and response, alternative development, and regional and international cooperation. Sa tingin ko po ay napakalaki ng maitutulong ng mga kabataang katulad ninyo sa drug demand reduction at sa civic awareness and response. By doing activities that can divert the attention of the youth from illegal drugs, you can help a lot in drug demand reduction. You can also help in raising public awareness on the deleterious effect of illegal drug use and abuse, especially among the youth, through information and education campaigns, workshops, and conventions like this. Social media nowadays can be a very effective tool. I don't need to go into the specifics dahil naniniwala pa ako sa talino at creativity ng mga kabataan, lalo na sa panahon ngayon when we have an overwhelming supply of information around us. I have strong faith in you, the youth, that you will indeed become an instrumental part of our nation building. Sana magiging effective abin nyo po ang convention na ito upang may sakatuparan ang mga hangarin ng ating batas. Again, maraming salamat po for inviting me. I am also inviting you to my YouTube channel, Your Lawyer. Ingat po kayo.